Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be looking at 10 amazing TV and movie cars that you can own in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, if you feel like any cars are missing from this list, well, that's because they might have been on part one that I did about a year ago. Now, another thing to note from this video, I'm excluding Fast and Furious vehicles. We've done plenty of dedicated videos to those cars alone, so there will be no Fast and Furious cars in this video. But without the way, let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into this. Our first vehicle that we're gonna be looking at today is the Vigilante, which of course is based off of the Batmobile. Now, which version of the Batmobile you might ask because there are a lot and that's true. This is the Batmobile from Batman 89, Batman Returns, Batman 1989, and Batman 1992. Basically the ones with Michael Keaton. And this vehicle is obviously amazing. Rockstar added this in the Smuggler's Run update and they released it for the Halloween Surprise 2017. And the Vigilante, obviously the name, if it isn't a huge giveaway that it's based off of the Batmobile, is single-handedly one of the best cars in the game. It's a supercar, it's weaponized, it has a giant rocket thruster on the back. Look at the size of these wheels too. It's just incredible. Uh, it's obviously one of the, the most fun cars to drive in the game. And look at that interior too. If that doesn't scream Batmobile with all those gizmos and gadgets, I don't know what does. But either way, that's pretty awesome and it is our first updated movie car of the day. Our second movie car of the day is the Ocelot Stromberg. Now, the Ocelot Stromberg is based off of one of James Bond's gadget vehicles and one of his films from the 1970s, The Spy Who Loved Me. Now, the reason this is named the Stromberg is because that's actually the villain's name in that film. So, Rockstar with a nice little Easter egg right there. And obviously, you guys know the secret sauce of the Stromberg is the fact that it has the ability to go from land vehicle to submarine instantaneously. So not only is it one of the coolest vehicles we have in the game, also one of the more useful, but it also turns out to be it is a amazing movie reference. I thought Rockstar was going to make the Ardent have this feature, but it turns out that they just made the Stromberg have this feature instead. So pretty awesome right there. We've got a Batman vehicle and a James Bond vehicle to lead us off today. Our third vehicle today, they're going to be both Vapid Ellie's. So they're going to take a little bit of explaining as far as their story goes. So this first Vapid Ellie right here, this is Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, one of the best car movies of all time. Now, the reason this vehicle is so significant, not only to uh, what we have in Grand Theft Auto Online, but to the film is that was the one that Memphis Reigns, you know, could never get. Uh, this was the... Uh, GT500 that he could really never get his hands on and at the end of the film he finally does not to you know give away too many spoilers but you can see here it's got this beautiful sort of dark silver with the black stripes uh, this is the Vapid Ellie by the way the name itself is also a reference to the name of the vehicle in the film Eleanor as you guys can see right there so that is pretty cool that Rockstar sort of put an easter egg in the name and they also gave us the perfect ability to recreate this car in online. I mean, it just is a flawless vehicle, probably like one of my top 10 cars of all time, and uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. So that is Eleanor right there from Gone in 60 Seconds. Our next Vapid Ellie is actually Steve McQueen's Bullet. So this is another beautiful GT500 Mustang. This one with more of a dark racing green paint job on there. You can also see that we have the sort of customized wheels on there with the black rims as well. This is an amazing car. Um, it sort of is a little bit undershadowed as far as vehicles you can create with the Vapid Ellie goes because obviously everyone's going to want to jump on Eleanor over there. I mean, obviously it's in the name. But Steve McQueen's Bullet is an amazing vehicle too. There's something about this like British racing green that you see on a classic American muscle car that just looks really good in my opinion. So these two vehicles I wanted to put right next to each other because I, I think they're staples of the uh, muscle cars that we're going to be looking at today. But that is our fourth one. It is Steve McQueen's Bullet. Vehicle number five today, and that is the Impante Deluxo, which of course is based off of the DMC-12 DeLorean. Now, this vehicle is most famous in Back to the Future, the trilogy that came out in the 1980s, and this is probably the most popular vehicle 
in a movie that wasn't about cars. Like it's crazy to think about that Back to the Future wasn't a car movie, but it's probably the most important thing in that film outside of the two main characters, Marty McFly and Doc Brown which is just crazy to think about. Now, obviously, this version that we have right here doesn't have all the time machine gizmos and gadgets on there. It doesn't have the Mr. Coffee on the back or the flux capacitor, but it does have the same sort of steel stylish design with those 80s-like rims and obviously a pretty plain interior. And what's cool about this vehicle is, you know, they made normal DeLoreans in real life, but they only made a handful of them. I think it was like only 5,000 of them ever made its way into production, uh, which is makes it obviously a really rare car in real life. But this vehicle, truly incredible. Just one of the best overall vehicles in the game. Obviously, it's, it's super effective. It's weaponized. It can fly. But it's also one of the best movie and TV cars as well. Uh, moving on to another vehicle today from TV and cartoons, actually. We've got the Declasse Scramjet. And this version of the Scramjet with the white paint job and the red stripe livery is very similar to the Speed Racer Mach 5. So this, of course, is a cartoon that you might have watched. And this vehicle is pretty much an exact replica from that of the cartoon. What's kind of cool is in Grand Theft Auto Online, it's a topless supercar, which is sort of unique. Uh, it obviously has the rocket thrusters on the back. It has the ability to jump and have the boost. And it also has the weapons on the front, as you guys can see right there. So not only is this vehicle incredibly lethal, uh, but it is also based off of one of the coolest cars in the game. You know, when Rockstar first announced this in the After Hours update, I was like, that's cool. I remember watching that cartoon, Speed Racer. So that's awesome right there. Again, we've got a lot of updated vehicles, which is why I'm, I'm focusing on some of the newer ones that came out in 2018, 2017. But either way, the Speed Racer Mach 5, just an amazing car. Uh, it's super cool, and I know a lot of you guys are big fans of this vehicle too. This next vehicle was important for me to include in this video because we actually just lost Burt Reynolds. He actually passed away a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to create the Trans Am from Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, now, Burt Reynolds did a lot of amazing roles in his acting career. In fact, he actually did the voice acting of a GTA character, Avery Carrington, in Vice City. But probably his most famous role was playing the bandit in Smokey and the Bandit. And we created his Trans Am with the T-top and sort of the black and bronzy brown. The only thing we don't have is like the Phoenix on there. That would have been really cool. Uh, but we tried to recreate this as best as we could. The Phoenix is one of those like original, really nice muscle cars. And uh, it is a shame that Rockstar, since they've been updating a lot of older vehicles, didn't update the Phoenix to get sort of a Smokey and the Bandit livery on there. That would be super cool. But either way, the Phoenix to this day is an amazing car. And the fact that we can almost perfectly create a Bandit Trans Am is kind of awesome. Now, some of you younger guys might not understand this vehicle right here. This is Crockett's Tessarosa from Miami Vice. So Miami Vice was like a crime TV show uh, that came on in the 1980s. And the main character, Crockett, had a pretty sweet car. He had an all-white Ferrari Tessarosa, and it just looked beautiful. Now, there's a couple things about the Tessarosa we have in-game, which is the Cheetah Classic, that is not perfect. Uh, we obviously don't have the mirror on one side. We don't have the doors uh, still sort of design that uh, he had in the movie. But we can get it pretty close enough, and this all-white, beautiful Ferrari is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's just an amazing design. You guys can see how bright it is glowing in this garage. And uh, I remember watching that TV show and thinking to myself, you know, if I ever had the chance to have a, you know, an old Ferrari like this, it would be exactly like Crockett's uh, from Miami Vice. So that right there is another amazing movie and TV car that you can now recreate in Grand Theft Auto Online. Probably the funniest vehicle we're going to be looking at today is the Weenie Issy Classic based off of Mr. Bean's uh, Mini Cooper. So this, of course, is an incredible car. You've got the yellow with the black hood, and we obviously don't have the chair on top. That's as best as I could do with, like, the luggage. But this is Mr. Bean's car. I mean, look how tiny this thing is. It is a really little guy. Uh, but either way, this is such a cool car. Obviously, I created this probably on day one in which it came out, and I don't think I've ever driven it since. But it's just an iconic vehicle. Mr. Bean is obviously hilarious and I definitely wanted to recreate his car in Grand Theft Auto Online. And our final vehicle today has been around for a while. I just never included it in my first video, but that is the Tron Bike. 
So that's right. This is the Shotaro. The Tron bike is, or I should say the Shotaro, is based off of the Tron light cycles. And uh, I'd say the two most popular colors are like yellow and blue. So I went with the yellow one right here. The Shotaro to this day is still one of the most fun vehicles you can drive around. It is such a cool bike. And uh, I have a ton of fun driving this at night because you literally look like a glowing maniac driving down the streets of Los Santos with this vehicle. But anyways, that right there is the top 10 updated best TV and movie cars that you can own in Grand Theft Auto Online. Again, I think these are pretty awesome, but I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know which one of these vehicles was your favorite. What other vehicles would you add to this garage? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.